Aloha everyone. I don't go live very often, so I don't know how many people will be tuning in at this time of day. It's only like noon on Thursday. Um, but I was just watching the astrology and so I wanted to talk uh, about a little bit of it. There's a lot coming up this weekend, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of time for other people to join in here. Oh, that's new. You can bring people on camera now? Interesting. I wonder how that works. We'll have to figure out soon. All this new stuff on technology. It's amazing. Hi, Serena. Hi, David. Awesome. So, <clears throat> so I just want to talk a little bit about this weekend, what's coming up in the stars. Um, I'm definitely not an astrologist. I may have been in a past life because I'm super obsessed with it, but uh, I watch a few different people and follow a few different people that give such amazing information. Um, and I think that there's a lot, there's a lot happening and a lot of people have been feeling the pressure this week. Almost like we must get things done. It's like this pressure and I've definitely been feeling it uh, yesterday and definitely today I woke up and I'm like, whoa, gotta, gotta move, gotta get things going. Um, but Mercury is going in retrograde on Saturday and you know some people look at that as a scary thing or a bad thing and I personally don't think that. I don't think that at all. I, I love it when Mercury goes in retrograde because it totally forces me to slow down. Uh, most people that know me they know I have a hard time doing that like most of us. Hi Jeff! Um, so yes, there's, there's a lot of things happening, but right now, whatever planets, there's so many planets aligned and trined and all these things that I don't quite understand of the definitions of them all, but there is a ton of stuff happening where now's the time. Now's the time. If you guys have been planning on creating something or making a leap into a new project or putting yourself out there in a new way or an expanded way um, or maybe jumping into a new job or a new home or whatever these new creations and versions of yourself that you've been feeling pulled to do and create, feeling pulled to jump towards, now is the time. It's like leave it Leave it behind if you're not gonna do it because it's it's not gonna come around this strong. There's a lot of fire happening. There's a lot of motivation. There's a lot of doors of opportunity here. There are everywhere, all around you, and they're just giving you signs, giving you symbols, saying, hey, me, 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 hey, me, me, me. And it's like, are you gonna take it? Are you gonna open those doors? Are you going to push past your fears of not fearing that you're not good enough or fearing that you might not know how to do something or fearing maybe people might not like you enough or be attracted to what you're doing. Scrap all that. Get it out of the way and allow yourself to realize, finally realize that if you have a dream, if you have something that it is that you've been wanting to do, something that's in your heart, something that drives you, something that has been festering inside that wants to come out, the world wants it. It's, it's a universal fact. If you can create it, it's going to be openly received somewhere, some way, somehow. And I think that's the biggest thing. You know, we don't have to know how things are going to unravel. We don't have to know how to make all of this happen. Once we make the conscious choice to step forward and make the conscious choice of, yes, I'm going to live my truth. Yes, I'm going to finally listen to my heart. Yes, I'm going to move forward and do my best to create this new path, this new version of myself, this new expanded version of myself so that I can better serve the planet by offering more love and more passion and more creation. And just really bringing that forward, you know? Once you make that conscious choice, the universe hears you. Instantaneously, it feels your heart shift. 
It feels you jump in and it's going to open up for you. And that's where what we call synchronicity falls into place and everything just starts falling into place so easily, so naturally. And it's, it's really, really magical. You know, I always say life is magic and that's because it is. If you can look for it and you can see it, everything just starts falling into place so easily. And I don't know, I just get so excited about these things. So here's what I did, okay? to prepare for this upcoming weekend because the thing is when Mercury goes in retrograde everything does slow down and everything kind of comes to a halt as far as new projects and new things so you want to avoid starting new projects when Mercury goes into retrograde and you want to avoid signing new contracts or jumping into anything big um, unless you have previously made that decision to do so during this time so today today's Thursday Thursday and tomorrow you have time to sit down and write down what projects you are working on what commitments have you made or are making and what is it that you really want to bring forward in these next few months I believe mercury comes out of retrograde on December 22nd so you have a few weeks where you're gonna be in this limbo and you're gonna need to slow down and focus on these things so what I did is I took a sheet of paper for each project that I have going on and at the top I wrote the title of what the project is and then in between it I kind of wrote you know what my goals are with that project and who's involved and then I broke it down because knowing me I have so many projects and it can tend to be a little bit overwhelming so I looked at them and got a little bit of anxiety what is that anxiety it's the not knowing. It's trying to look into the future and having no idea what any of it means or how to get there. And so you're fearing the how. Okay, well let's break it down even simpler. What is it that I'm trying to accomplish here? Hi Jason, my beautiful brother. Hi. Hi John, good to see you guys. You break it down. Break it down into steps, into little steps because you've got this big project and when we don't get projects done, it's because it's this gigantic thing and we have no idea how to even start it. So you break it down into little steps. What are the little steps you can take to begin accomplishing those goals and those projects? And you begin writing, okay, I need to talk to this person to figure out more information or get help with this, or I need to research this to get more information for my next steps of this project. And you break it down. And so I did that with each of my projects and allowed it to kind of fall into place. And then I realized, okay, I have way too many projects and not all of that's gonna get accomplished in three weeks span of time. So then what do you do? You prioritize. Prioritize and allow yourself to see where your heart goes first because your heart knows best and your heart knows what direction is going to thrive the most. And so if you can flow into that and allow yourself to say, okay, well, these ones are gonna go first. These are the priorities and these are the first steps that I can take to begin getting that accomplished. And so in my projects, I've already started that. You know, I've already started seeing, okay, these are the first few things I'm going to work on. And beyond that, I also looked a little bit deeper and there's a couple projects that I have wanted to do and kind of keep pushing on the back burner because I'm really frightened of the expansion and what that all might mean if I were to jump into it. Um, and it's okay, it's okay to be absolutely frightened of something and usually where you're absolutely frightened is also the biggest challenge to accomplishing your biggest goals. So uh, looking deeper into that, I also added another one of the projects to my priorities of things to do because even though I was frightened and I felt like it wasn't exactly where my heart was being tugged to, it really was underlying the fears that I had of, of what it encompassed it really is where my heart's going. So make sure to dive a little bit deeper and don't disregard something that your heart doesn't fully go to. Also notice where your biggest fears are, okay? So 
you've got multiple things that you can do to just basically plan it out. You want to plan it out today, tomorrow, and make those calls, make those leaps, make those connections to show the universe that you are committed to working on these. And commit to yourself that you're going to work on these things and not allow yourself to get bombarded with any other big things. If for some reason some gigantic commitment or a contract or anything comes up during this time of Mercury in retrograde, it's very, very important to read thoroughly, communicate clearly. You must slow down because during Mercury in retrograde, Mercury is communication and in retrograde, communication gets scattered, it gets discombobulated, people understand things in a different way than what you had meant, so it's good to reiterate what you're saying and make sure that you are understood and you are understanding. Um, so if you do need to jump into bigger things uh, that weren't planned, be sure to allow yourself the time and space to comprehend it fully and be on the same page with the other people involved. Um, other than that, that was like the biggest thing. I just felt really called to share this with all of you and just to know that the universe is supporting you. Uh, there is a little bit of a push today and tomorrow uh, to get things done and really jump on board with this because after, after Friday, the fire kind of leaves for a little while, you know, the motivation to jump on projects. So it's good to kind of use this momentum and jump on board with it and get going. Aloha, Natalie. So yes, if, if you feel called to work deeper on any of this and you have questions, just let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, and I have an event at I Love Nalo on Sunday. So I'm going to work a little bit deeper on this uh, as Mercury enters retrograde. We'll work on this. Um, Aloha, Catalina. And tonight, if you would like a little more clarity and opening your body and opening your centers and really standing in your power, because we're also focusing on solar plexus powerhouse area, um, David Heiss and I, my fellow gangster brother here in Hawaii, we will be going to I Love Nalo to offer mystic gong yoga. And some people don't know what gong yoga is. My version of gong yoga, I don't know, many people around the world might have different versions, but uh, I do, I offer sound therapy with the gong and singing bowls and everything during the whole yoga experience. So your body is being opened with the breath and the movement and then it is being infused and going deeper with the sound therapy. So it is a really beautiful experience, super powerful. Um, and if you're somewhere else in the world and you wish to experience this, find a gongster sound therapist in your area and express to them how much of a beautiful combination it may be with a yoga teacher. So with all of that, I would like to, I have my singing bowls back here set up right now. I'm getting ready to pack up for this evening, but I just felt called to share a little bit of sound with you. Um, I'm hoping the sound sounds good from my phone, but maybe just taking five, 10 minutes at the most. And if you feel like putting sound uh, earbuds in your ears so that you can hear it fully, or turning up your speakers and just really zenning out, uh, tune into the sound frequencies, allow yourself to set your tone for the day. You know, really set your tone, get empowered, feel your power, know that you can create this reality that it is that you're living. You choose to wake up every day, choose to live how you want to live. You don't have to be stuck. You are never stuck only because you've chosen to be stuck. So allow these sound vibrations to get in there, get into your heart and to your mind and allow it to let go of the fears, let go of anything that may be holding you back and allow yourself to free flow forward and do it with confidence. So here we go. Go ahead and close your eyes. If you're at home, lay down. If you're driving, I hope you're not watching this while you're driving, but anyways, <laughs> um, I will gift you guys a few minutes with the sacred sound. Enjoy.
I don't know if that got cut off because someone was calling me, but I really hope that you guys heard it all. I hope that it brought you some peace and some beauty and may it infuse that confidence inside of you. You know, sound is one of the most powerful healers and uh, it's been a huge healer for me in every possible way, shape, or form. Just to have singing bowls, whether it's the Tibetan metal ones, or the crystal singing bowls, or the gong, which I have here as well. I just, I'm packing it away right now for tonight's event. But having one of these in your home for you, your children, your family, is probably one of the most powerful most beautiful ways to overcome stress and overcome any fears in the moment. It's, it's so, so powerful. So um, I do want to offer more of these live videos. So please, please let me know how the sound was. Let me know how you liked it. And I really hope to be offering these on a weekly basis. Uh, if you have any preferences of days or times, please list those as well, as, long, as well as your time zone, because that plays a huge part in it. I am Hawaii time. Um, so again, please allow the fire in, allow the movement into your life and jump on board with whatever is going on in your life, the positivity, all the changes all of the things that are ready to be planted in. You know, this upcoming year is going to be huge, but it's up to us to own our life and take responsibility for the choices that we have the ability to make and overcome our fears to create the reality we want. Uh, we don't have to listen to anyone else anymore. Yeah, we were taught that when we were growing up and everyone thought that they had the answers for us and that's all been proven wrong. Uh, no one knows what we need. We only know what we need. So you know what you need. You know what your heart wants. You know what you want to do. And it's up to you to really take charge of that and create that into your life and go search and open up the doors for the opportunities that await you. I hope you have the most blessed weekend. And if you're in Hawaii, I hope to see you tonight at I Love Nalo, 7 p.m. You can arrive a little bit early. I'll be there setting up. It's me and David Heiss, so there'll be double gong action. And um, this weekend, I'll be at I Love Nalo on Sunday again for full sound journey. Tonight is gong yoga. Uh, if you're interested in any of my other events here in Hawaii, uh, go to Supernova Energetics on Facebook or Gongs of Aloha on Meetup, and you can find out more about all the events that we are offering. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Happy changes, and don't forget, everything slows down after, su after Saturday, Sunday-ish, so be patient with yourself, be patient with others, communicate clearly, and stay focused. Have a beautiful weekend. I love you, Jason. <laughs>